This is uh, section 4.4 of the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. This video uh, will connect antiderivatives with how to find the exact area under a curve. And this is what the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus is. So what it says is that f of x has to be a continuous function. So in this interval there can't be a jump, there can't be a vertical asymptote, it has to be a continuous. And you have to be able to find an antiderivative. So we're going to call a capital F the antiderivative of lowercase s. So that means that the integral from a to b could just be found by finding the antiderivative. And in this little notation, you put the upper limit in the top of the bracket, lower limit in the bottom of the bracket. And the, uh, the fundamental theorem says if you want to find this value, you just subtract the antiderivative at the top limit minus the antiderivative at the bottom limit. And we'll go over the uh, first example. Let's say I want to find the uh, the value of that. So using this theorem, I have to first find the antiderivative of what's in the integral. So the antiderivative here is I'm just going to use the power rule um, for the 2x squared. So the antiderivative is going to be a 2 add the power by 1, so 2x squared over 2 plus antiderivative of 1 is going to be x then I simplify this, this just gives me um, x squared plus x and then I keep my lower limit as 0, upper limit as uh, 3 and all I did was reduce the, uh, the 2 right? so that's this part antiderivative at a to b is antiderivative 0 to 3 then the uh, fundamental theorem says just plug in the um, top limit into your antiderivative so it's going to be 3 squared plus 3 and then subtract away your lower limit in this case my lower limit is going to be um, 0 squared minus sub 0 so it's not really going to affect my answer all this is going to be nothing and then this is, this is going to give me a 9 plus 3 which is uh, equal to 12 All right, so my integral value is 12. So the area under a curve, you could also think of this as is going to be 12 of this. And I can confirm this uh, graphically because I can draw the uh, graph of um, 2x plus 1. And that's going to give me a trapezoid from, uh, from so it's not, if I were to draw 0 to 3, this is uh, 2x plus 1. The height of this side of the trapezoid is 1, the height of this one is a 7. This height, this width is a 3, so it's going to be a 3 over 2, 1 plus a 7. This is going to be 3 over 8 over 2, which just simplifies to reducing this, gives me a 12. So the area graphically, I can just find um, with the trapezoid, which is 12, or I can just use the fundamental theorem, find antiderivatives, and get the, uh, the same number. Now, I was able to do this because there was a nice geometric uh, um, shape. It was a nice trapezoid. So we're going to use these for ones that aren't um, geometric shapes, like example number 2. Find the area under uh, 1 over square root of x from, uh, from 1 to 4. Now, 1 over square root of x um, sort of looks like that. It's not a uh, basic geometric uh, shape, so I have to use I have to use an integral to find this value. So I'm going to set up the integral from uh, from one to four of one over square root of x dx. And I still have to kind of uh, use the integration kind of flow as far as I have to now rewrite this. I'm using exponent properties. One over square root of x is the same thing as x to the negative one half keep my limit from here to here. So this is just the uh, rewrite part of it. Now I actually have to uh, integrate this using the uh, power rule. The power rule says you add this by power by 1. So it's x to the negative 1 half plus 1 is positive a half all over 1 half. Simplifying this, this is going to give me 2 square root of x. And I keep my uh, limits Lower limit is 1, sorry, 
upper limit is uh, 4. And then I go ahead and plug in my top limit minus my lower limit. So it's going to be a 2 square root of 4 minus 2 square root of 1. It simplifies to a 2. Square root of a 4 is 2 times 2 minus a 2, which is going to give me just a 2. So the exact area from 1 to a 4 of this curve, if I were to actually shade it in, would be equal to a 2 units. But you wouldn't be able to find that unless you use calculus because there's no way you can fit a geometric shape into uh, to that. So that's the uh, the beauty of being able to find antiderivatives is finding the exact area under a curve. All right. Example number uh, three deals with the um, trick function. Let's see a simple one. And just looking up the uh, antiderivative for uh, sine, it's going to be a negative cosine. So this antiderivative is going to equal negative uh, cosine of x. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is pi. I now plug in my upper limit. It's going to be negative cosine of pi minus negative cosine of uh, 0. All right. Cosine of pi is equal to negative 1, so it's negative times the negative 1, which turns out to be a positive 1 minus, well, I have two minuses in a row, so this really becomes a plus. I can really write this as plus. And then cosine of uh, 0 is, is 1, so this really becomes a 1. So I'm really adding 1 plus 1, so the answer is uh, 2 again. So that means that underneath the sine curve from 0 to pi is what sine looks like and it intersects the uh, x-axis at pi. The exact area under the sine curve from 0 to pi is equal to our 2 units. Alright, and we'll finish this video with a, a U-try problem. So here's uh, two examples for you to copy down. And I'll give you a moment to uh, pause it, try them yourselves, and I'll show you, show you the uh, solutions on the back. All right, so you should have tried the problems by now, and here's the uh, solutions that I got on the back. So for uh, B, I went ahead and uh, rewrote them with exponent properties and found the antiderivatives, and the answer I got was uh, 4 over 3. And for C, the antiderivative of uh, secant squared is tangent, and when you plug in uh, pi over 6, Tangent of pi over 6 is uh, radical 3 over 3, and then tangent of 0 is a 0, so your answer is just uh, radical 3 over 3, and that's it for this video.